UN observers make a grisly discovery. Thirteen bodies, apparently shot execution style, with their hands tied behind their backs. The discovery follows last week's massacre in Haula that left more than a hundred people dead. Survivors blame gunmen allied with President Bashar Assad's regime for at least some of the carnage. But the government is blaming armed terrorists. This is、uh, a moment where we have reached, in effect, a tipping point, with the events over the weekend being the most recent manifestation of that reality. I think we may be beginning to see the wheels coming off of this bus. The massacre prompted the U.S. and at least a dozen other nations to expel Syrian diplomats. A ceasefire declared in April has been violated daily by both sides. The leader of the government opposition is calling for the United Nations to send more ceasefire observers to the country. Hassan Abdul Azim says that Syria needs enough observers to cover every province of the country, especially in those areas where conflicts have already happened. The UN's top human rights body will hold a special session Friday on the deteriorating situation in Syria. In Jordan, International Envoy Kofi Annan held talks with the Jordanian Prime Minister and Foreign Minister. We've seen the attempts to end the violence, and we、uh, see, have seen the、uh, work of the monitors, and we know that there's going to be access、uh, allowed to the、uh, to the media. But I think the political dialogue that is required to bring Syria um, um, out of this、uh, is very, very important. Anan later told reporters, "The world must find a solution that will lead to a democratic transition in Syria and find a way of ending the killings as soon as possible." Matt Friedman, Associated Press.